Another major sell-off on Wall Street today over fears of escalating trade disputes. All three major indices hit lows for the month. The Dow was down for the ninth day in the last 10, losing 328 today. The S&P 500 gave back 38. The Nasdaq plummeted 161. Tonight, correspondent Kevin Cork at the White House on the short-term consequences of President Trump's trade policy. In announcing the company would shift production of some of its motorcycles to the European Union to avoid new EU tariffs, Harley Davidson today slammed the brakes on a key White House narrative that protectionism by way of tariff saves American jobs. The move comes after the Trump administration hit the EU with tariffs of 25% on steel and 10% on aluminum. In retaliation, the EU began charging import duties on a range of U.S. products, including motorcycles. And in Harley's case, that meant raising from 6% to 31% the tariff per imported Harley. In its filings with the SEC, the Wisconsin company suggested that this was an unintended consequence of an aggressive trade policy by the White House, calling its decision the only sustainable option to make its motorcycles accessible to customers in the EU. But White House officials place blame for the tariff dispute squarely at the feet of the EU. The European Union is trying to punish U.S. workers because they've engaged uh, repeatedly in unfair trade practices, and the president is saying enough is enough. We'd like to work with the EU uh, to work on a level playing field. Sanders' comments reflect an increasingly aggressive posture by the administration. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross saying that the days of, quote, spoiling U.S. trade partners are over. And Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin warning that proposed investment restrictions on some American companies will target all countries that are trying to steal our technology, a not-so-veiled reference to China. Economists believe the trade war could spread, consuming the auto industry next. But the president has already threatened to hit European car makers with a stock market rattling 20% import fee. In the short term, it's not good for Trump. The one thing is the markets don't like tariffs. The market loves Trump, but the markets don't like tariffs. So we're seeing this immediate negative reaction, and it could last for the next few days. Barring a last-minute deal, the U.S. is set to hit China with another $34 billion in tariffs in July. Brett? Kevin Cork at the White House. Kevin, thank you. Let's